I went to the Air Force and they told me three times, no. The Army said, you are not a fit for us. And the Navy said, sure, take a test. And <laughs> Leadership always sets the tone. I had one year of instructing under a great leader, and then there was a command change, and I got to experience how it is to function under a not-so-great leader. He was not going to have any woman teaching weapons in his squadron, in his aircraft, in his navy. People that use a lot of possessives just make me a little nervous. I was sent to teach out of control flight instead. This was the flight that everyone dreaded. On the ground, it was certainly a great lesson in never letting a, an offense get in the way of an opportunity. You've been in the Navy, right. top of the top. How does that feel when someone turns around, did not want to get on that flight because they saw a female pilot? I really don't think a lot about it. I think they're going to be late. <laughs> Southwest 1380 has an engine fire descending. Southwest 1380, uh, are you, you're descending right now? Yes, sir, we're single engine descending, have a fire number one. Southwest Flight 1380, traveling from New York City to Dallas, had to land in Philadelphia. One of the engines had exploded in midair, sending metal fragments into the wing and into the cabin. You maintain out about 2,200 for uh, the MVA. Okay, could you have the uh, medical meet us there on the runway as well. We've got uh, injured passengers. Injured passengers, okay. And are you, is your airplane physically on fire? No, it's not on fire, but part of it's missing. They said there was a hole and, and uh, someone went out. Baby, right here when you're able, you want to stop wherever you need to, it's fine. Thank you. We're going to stop right here by the uh, fire truck. Thanks, guys, for the help. But those steady hands in the sky made sure they got home. That was off pilot is a Navy veteran. She has nerves of steel. As a captain, uh, I have about five minutes to make five people a cohesive crew. Trusting my people was one of the most important things I did that day. I think servant leadership is one of those amazing tools that we have. It makes the habits of our everyday become the instincts of our crisis day. And knowing, trusting, and valuing our people is a great instinct to groom.